Sahara. In this video, we're going to discuss titration of strong acid with strong base. This is experiment number two for module CHE1503. The purpose of today's experiment is to determine the concentration of an aqueous sodium hydroxide solution. So we will be uh, working with the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution. Let's look at the procedure. When you are in the lab setting, your demonstrator will show you how to use the volumetric glassware. And they will also demonstrate the rough titration and accurate uh, titration before you begin the procedure. So when preparing the glassware, you must make sure that all glassware used in experiment is clean and not greasy. No water droplets should be stick on the wall of pipette or burette. And if necessary, the, all the glassware should be washed with soap or detergent solution before you start the procedure. Collection of solution to be used in experiment. The next step is you're going to collect all the solutions or all the um, chemicals you need to work during the experiment. So use clean 100 ml beaker, which is uh, you must label them clearly with name of the solution so that you don't mix up it uh, with other solutions. Before you add the stock solution to your beaker, make sure that beaker is dry or rinse the beaker with small quantity of stock solution. Never ever pour excess solution back into the stock bottle. You're going to mess with the concentration of it. Filling of the burette with aqueous hydrochloric acid. Rinse the burette and a small funnel twice with some 10 ml of aqueous hydrochloric acid. Clamp the burette and fill it with dilute hydrochloric acid till close to the zero mark. Use a small funnel and remove it immediately after use. Then drain a few millimeters of solution to make sure that there is no air bubble trapped in the jet below the tap. If the air bubble persists, slant the burette and sink and open the tap to allow some of the solution to flow out of the air bubble. Then you must take the initial burette reading to 0.01 ml. To avoid parallax error, you, your eye should be level with bottom of the meniscus when you are taking the reading. Next is transferring of aqueous sodium hydroxide solution to the conical flask. Pour about 5 ml of aqueous sodium hydroxide solution into a clean beaker. Use this solution. Rinse the pipette. Discard the solution left in the beaker and refill with enough fresh aqueous sodium hydroxide solution needed to actual transfer. Then pipette 25 ml of sodium hydroxide solution into a conical flask. Use a pipette filler to fill the pipette above the mark. Then you must remove the bulb and use your index finger to bring the level of the liquid to the line on the pipette. Transfer the liquid to the clean conical flask and make sure do not blow out of the out the small amount of liquid that remain in the pipette. Place the conical flask on a white tile. Using a wash bottle with distilled water, flush down the droplets of aqueous sodium hydroxide solution remaining on the inside of the wall of the flask. Next step is where the titration begins. So Rough titration. Add a few drops of methyl red indicator solution or phenoxylene solution to the aqueous sodium hydroxide solution inside the conical flask and then you must swirl the flask. Place the conical flask on a white tile. Record initial reading of the burette in the table of your report sheet. From the burette, add 1 ml portion of dilute hydrochloric acid at a time to the conical flask. Swirl and flask carefully after each addition but not too vigorously stop titration when the yellow color has become orange or white color has become pink and record your final reading at the end point of titration the indicator must change the color then for the accurate titration 
uh, from the rough titration you know where approximately the indicator will change the color therefore now a large volume of titrant can be added all at once and then a drop at a time is added close to the end point clean the conical flask with tap water and then rinse it with distilled water transfer 25 ml of aqueous sodium hydroxide solution with bulb pipette to the conical flask add a few drops of indicator and place it on the white tile from the burette add a large volume of dilute hydrochloric acid for example 1 to 2 ml less than uh, was needed for a color change of the indicator in rough titration then swirl the conical flask now add dilute hydrochloric acid drop by drop until the indicator starts to get a permanent change in color then again you must swirl the flask Record your final reading of burette in your report sheet. Repeat the accurate titration once more. Three accurate titration volume must be within 0.10 ml. If not repeated, repeat the titration as many times as required if the difference between accurate uh, titrations are not within 0.10 ml. your lab report should look like this so they can ask you for the volume of aqueous sodium hydroxide pipetted concentration of aqueous hydrochloric acid solution and then uh, this is the table where you must record all the readings from your rough titration and accurate titration to find the average volume of aqueous hydrochloric acid you must add the volumes of uh, from the accurate titration value 1 value of uh, volume added b and then value c and divide by 3 to get the average results then they can also ask you to write the chemical equation of reaction between aqueous sodium hydroxide solution and aqueous hydrochloric acid because we were using these two chemicals so the chemical equation is HCl plus NaOH will give you NaCl aqueous and H2O aqueous. Calculate the amount of number of moles of HCl added during the titration. So when they say amount, they mean the number of moles. In this case, they ask you to calculate the amount of HCl. So you must times number of moles of sodium hydroxide solution times the average which we found out from the um, uh, uh, from the readings you took during the titration then times it by 1 liters over 1000 ml which will give you the number of moles of HCl this here is the value which you must calculate from the stock solution the average milliliter NaOH is the value we got from the experiment with what is the amount of NaOH that has reacted? So again, amount means number of moles. So from the equation, we know that HCl as in whole reacted with NOH, which means one of a uh, one mole of NaOH reacts completely with one mole of HCl. So whatever result or value you got in part B of the question, you will write it here. Then calculate the concentration in moles per liter of the aqueous sodium hydroxide. The formula for calculating concentration is mass over volume. You can calculate this by writing the change in moles of HCl times it by 1 over 25 ml because initially we took one, uh, 25 ml of the volume and then times it by 100 ml over 1 L to get your value in the to get the concentration in moles per liter. This brings us to the end of experiment 2. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe for more.